Yes.
testing. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Harsh, and I'm the Asia Pacific Regional Director for Baker Tilly International. Today, we welcome our newest member firm in Singapore, Baker Tilly Vision. Baker Tilly Vision is a strategic partnership between Baker Tilly Singapore and Vision Group, a technology company specializing in blockchain. We are living in unprecedented times. We are spending more time at home and in front of our screens. Our physical interactions have been replaced by digital ones. There is more reliance on technology, which has accelerated the digital transformation in our lives. The CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadell, recently said that he has seen two years worth of digital transformation in the last two months. A survey done by McKinsey showed that the e-commerce penetration in the US market, which was projected to happen over the next 10 years, has happened in the last 90 days. Now this acceleration in technology has also resulted in a faster adoption of relatively newer technologies like blockchain and machine learning. Now blockchain has been long, long talked about in the accountancy industry as a game changer, as it would have allowed auditors to verify large portions of important data behind the financial statements automatically. The cost and the time necessary to conduct an audit would have declined considerably. Auditing would have become much more efficient and auditors could spend free up time on areas where they can add more Auditing would have become much more efficient and auditors could spend time on freed up areas where they could add more value, such as complex transactions or internal control mechanisms. It could even pay the way forward for 24 seven auditing, where you don't have to wait for the year end to pick up errors in the financial statements, but you could pick it up as soon as they happen. And perhaps accounting scandals like Wirecard could have been avoided if there was more reliance on technology. Accounting bodies such as ICAEW and ACCA recognize the importance of blockchain technology in the accounting profession. The study materials for future accountants who are trained by ICAEW as well as ACCA now includes modules on technology and blockchain so that future auditors are tech savvy and work closely with IT specialists to evolve the accounting profession. Baker Tilly firms globally currently use an accounting software called Global Focus, which makes cross-border audit engagement seamless and enables electronic review of audit work papers. The next stage of evolution of Global Focus would integrate blockchain and machine learning capabilities to our existing audit tools and methodologies. In that context, I am pleased that Baker Tilly Singapore, under the leadership of Joshua Ong, has future-proofed itself by recognizing the changing accounting landscape and partnered up with Vision Group to provide clients with digital solutions in the areas of blockchain, AI, and cybersecurity. This is also a step forward in offering audit service for clients holding and trading crypto assets as well as auditing of cryptocurrency exchanges. The Baker Tilly International Office fully supports Baker Tilly Vision and hopes that Singapore will lead the way forward in blockchain audits for clients in this region as well as across the globe. On that note, I would like to invite Joshua to share more about the collaboration with Vision Group and how he, visions, how he envisions to grow the practice as well as the accounting profession. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. 
I'm glad that uh, you are all able to join us today. It's certainly a, a joyous occasion for us. Uh, we are very pleased to welcome Baker Tilly Vision um, to be our latest network member. Uh, this is a joint venture with the Vision Group. Right? It's certainly a milestone for us. It will enhance our existing capabilities as a one-stop multidisciplinary professional service provider. Baker Tilly Vision um, focus on providing digital solutions in the area of blockchain, artificial intelligence, and cryptocurrencies. Technology advancement has long been affecting you know, our day-to-day -day lives um, and how business operates and transact. Right? This pandemic certainly cast a spotlight on business, on the urgency for business and the need for businesses to be ready, right? In terms of having these digital solutions. The move to a digital economy is inevitable, it's not a choice, it's irreversible. And therefore, all the more is the need for business to be ready to future proof and be ready when you know, to, to operate in the digital economy. Right. Today I'm certainly very, very excited to have um, vision to be you know, part of this network member in Singapore. And Vision Group is you know, founded by uh, Philip and Hui Tie, both very experienced technopreneur. You know, between the two of them, they have established you know, um, several businesses and they are very grounded in understanding the, the needs of businesses. And also um, they are sensitive to opportunities that will result from you know, technological advancement. And with this, I would like to you know, invite uh, Hui Tie to share with us um, his, his take on uh, how technology will affect us and also you know, um, um, how we can be ready you know, uh, adopting the blockchain um, solutions. Right. Thank you, Hui Tie. Thank you very much, Joshua, and a very good afternoon to everyone. This is uh, Lim from Baker Television. In the next couple of minutes or so, we'll be covering a little bit about the market and the trends, and more importantly, what does Baker, Vision, Baker Television do, and what has it got to do with you? So give me a couple of seconds while I'll pull up the PowerPoint slide. Perfect. So we're really excited today to very much announce the start of Baker Tilly Vision. And to give a little bit of introduction, that Baker Tilly Vision is really proud to be a member network of the Baker Tilly International Group a global network of independent accounting and business advisory firms whose member firms really share the dedication towards exceptional client service. From a global scale that's more than 740 offices across 140 territories, 126 membership firms, close to 35,000 people with an annual combined gross revenue of more than 3.6 billion. The firm globally covers not only Singapore, Asia and on a global scale, but more importantly, has very strong in-depth roots towards localizing to work together with the different groups from a very closely networked local space. So Baker Tilly Vision, we are a technology group that really focuses on industry-specific solutions to two main groups of customers, 
The first group is really traditional companies that are looking to digitally transform. And the second group is the new upcoming wave of cryptocurrency companies that are looking at the digital asset economy. Combined with these two groups of companies, we are looking at how we are able to move towards a new economy from a digital as well as a digital asset space. Combined with our years of experience in audit and technology consultancy and implementation, we are looking to work closely with Baker Tilly Singapore and International to make a huge difference within these two key category spaces that we're focusing on. The three groups of services that we're looking very much to offer to our clients revolves around three core categories. Firstly, in the digital transformation consultancy space. Secondly, in enterprise grade blockchain solutions. And thirdly, in the digital asset audit support area. So before I carry on, let's take one step back to really cover a little bit on some of the market trends. What has been going on in the past? What's currently happening right now? And more importantly, what's going to happen in the future? So focusing on these two groups, how to assist traditional companies to really digitally transform in the new digital economy and how to work together with cryptocurrency companies to achieve better regulatory and compliance in the new digital asset economy. Let me start first with the first group focusing on digital transformation. In the last number of years, apart from 2008, the global, GD, the global GDP has seen positive growth and the global equity market has been growing quite significantly as well. Yet just in the last 12 months or so, with the advent of COVID, there are huge amounts of changes in both the economy and the companies within it. Just on the left, we are able to see the top 10 industries that's hit most drastically, showing the top 10 industries with the most amount of bankruptcy filings in the year 2020. The first being restaurants in the F&B area, followed by construction and supplies, real estate, healthcare and medical, oil and gas, retail, transportation, and so on. And mind you, these companies are not small companies. Some companies as large as Hertz, with more than $24 billion in assets, went bankrupt just in a matter of months. On the right side, we're able to see a number of brands that we grew up knowing, that our parents' generations grew up knowing, and maybe even the parents of our parents. These well-known brands that have been surviving over the last 30, 50, or even 100 years have also been greatly impacted. For example, Lord and Taylor's, one of the oldest departmental stores in the US, founded in the 1800s, have just declared bankrupt, just in a matter of the last two weeks. The question then is, what really does the future hold for us? What can we now do today itself? Through a consensus forecast that shows global GDP across the last 30 years, in terms of a few crises that has hit us, both in 1991 as well as the year 2009, comparatively to this year of the year 2020, consensus forecast shows that more so in this current crisis, it's expected to have an even huge drastic impact towards companies moving forward. Yet, in this crisis comes forth key opportunities. And as much as that was very depressing, we would like to look forward to the future and what would the future hold for us. Even in these times, we took out a couple of statistics that shows that just in the year 2020, in the areas of retail e-commerce, online e-commerce is still booming with expected growth of close to 20%, and probably that has already outgrown in the last six months. Leading in this particular trend is Asia Pacific, outweighing a lot of the other key continents that we have 
in the world itself. As saying said by Andrew Grove, the CEO as well as chairman of Intel, only the paranoid survive. But what will be the top key three trends that lead in this significant change moving forward? Of study that we have done, we have identified three key areas that has really made a difference for companies that have took on a different change in their direction. The first being the areas of repurposing of production. The second is exploring new business models. And the third is in implementing successful digitization strategies. In areas of repurposing of production, companies such as Louis Vuitton, AB InBev, as well as General Motors have repurposed their production, very much focusing in the areas of sanitization, creation of masks or ventilators, to be able to supply to the increasing demand that the market can't existingly handle. In the areas of new business models, AirAsia has recently more focused on the e-commerce initiative to be able to implement e-commerce, not only for themselves, but towards merchants, introducing a zero commission model for enabling SMEs to reach out to consumers from e-commerce perspective. I would like to share three key areas or three key studies of companies that have really successfully digitized from a fashion retailer towards a health and gym based company. And lastly, even a knitting company that focuses in the hobbies area. So Boohoo, as a fashion retailer, what they've realized through data that they've collected is that during the COVID period, there's a decrease in the demand for wear that people wear to go out. But they realize, why is it such that there's a huge increase in the attire tops of people buying in the fashion retailing space? They realize it's because people are using Zoom or other video conferencing tools more often. And they're wondering, why is it such that people are buying the top but not the bottom? And Boohoo has successfully managed to pivot and increase their growth during lockdown by more than 40% in their e-commerce sales. Another company called Tone & Scott, previously focused in the areas of matching trainers with people who look to want to become healthier in the gym, have transformed the way people exercise by matching their trainers with people who like to exercise and do it through video conferencing have experienced 88% growth during the lockdown period. And more importantly, for another company that focuses on knitting, apparently during lockdown, a lot of people adopted new hobbies and the company's stitch and story managed to increase their sales by 800% during the lockdown as they sell knitting equipment to people who are locked down at home and are looking at new hobbies that they can actually adopt. The question to ask is, in this particular time and in this particular situation, what are we actually doing to digitally transform? What are we actually doing to increase the sales of our business? Whether is it from a repurposing of production, exploring of new business models, or looking at how we can implement a successful digitization strategy to bring us into the future? So let me take a step back and talk about our second group of customers that we are very much looking into and what are we able to offer them. The cryptocurrency space, a new wave of companies that believe strongly in blockchain, in cryptocurrencies, and looking forward into the digital asset economy. And let me cover a little bit about what has happened over the last number of years. As we can tell on the left-hand side, that total market capitalization for cryptocurrencies has peaked in the year 2017, and to date, it has not yet recovered. Yet on the bottom left-hand side, we're able to see that transactions has increased quite steadily, and more so, interestingly, just in the last two weeks, there's a huge surge as the market broke out, 
happen in the cryptocurrency space, both for main cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, or even alternative coins as well. But in addition to cryptocurrencies, we see an advent of an accelerating increase of enterprises adopting blockchain into the core technologies of their entire operations, from banks adopting a lot of initiatives, all the way to supply chain companies, education bodies adopting certifications. And Singapore being one of the key push in areas of blockchain has seen quite an accelerating adoption of blockchain solutions for enterprises in multiple different industries. In addition to that, we are able to see on a global scale, multiple different countries entering into both blockchain as well as the central bank digital payments in a great way. For example, we are able to see in China where they have implemented and rolled out their blockchain service network, as well as digital currency electronic payments. Imagine, although it's just newly launched, but what would happen in the next five years or 10 years? Would companies working with China need to implement blockchain as well as digital payments in order to work together with Chinese-based enterprises? Highly probable. In the US, following project Libra, initiated by Facebook, where Tomasic just recently joined as consortium member, looking towards how they're able to create a global skill payments network where multiple countries are able to participate to be able to reduce costs, look at almost instant real-time settlement, and to be able to have interoperable payments as well as data. And moving a bit closer to home in Singapore, where we have our MAS directive and project with Project Ubin. And not too long ago, rolling out saying that we are ready, less the decision that needs to be made in order for us to adopt blockchain into our payment system in Singapore. And of course, we have our Chris Flyer or our Singapore Airlines implementing their Chris Wallet amongst a large number of other enterprises within Singapore itself. So with this, cryptocurrency was very much just the start of blockchain technology, but more so as more and more enterprises adopt blockchain solutions, we're looking to see what would the next five to 10 years take us into in the new norm. So moving forward, there are three key areas that are important towards looking towards Singapore as an area for both cryptocurrency as well as digital assets. As we all know that Singapore has been very open to both blockchain as well as cryptocurrency assets and projects, where it's forefront from a regulatory perspective. And with the advent of so many companies coming to Singapore to set up the base, and as we continue to advance, Regulators constantly update their regulatory environment. And because of that, we are also seeing regulatory tightening over the last number of months with the introduction more of different licenses in the areas of RMO or PSA itself. We're able to see that Singapore is gearing up towards having a more regulated and governed environment for both cryptocurrency as well as digital asset companies. So today, if you are a digital asset exchange, a trader, a fund house, how are you able to ensure that you are really able to work together with the regulators to have better conformance and to facilitate the application in a more seamless manner? Looking at regulatory conformance, operational license, or even operational feasibility. And that's where Baker Television comes in, to work together with you to implement different solutions where you're able to have better cryptocurrency audit and checks, not just on the onset, but on a continual basis so that we're able to better conform to regulatory standards and more importantly, regularly conform so that we are better prepared in the instance there's any upcoming issues that might face the space. So let me jump very quickly into some of the solutions that Baker Television focus on. The first being 
Digital Transformation Consultancy. And what we're looking at, really it's how are we able to increase sales through digitization, increase productivity through technology redesign, and reducing cost through technology adoption? How are we able to implement a successful technology roadmap together with you to be future ready, to increase sales and to reduce cost? Next, to implement enterprise-grade blockchain solutions. We're able to leverage upon future tech, such as blockchain, AI, or cybersecurity, and the areas of blockchain to increase data trust, inte integrity, as well as provenance using blockchain, automation using smart contracts, and reduce the costs in collaborative ventures through data mobility and security. And for cryptocurrency and the digital asset economy, to increase in compliance conformance, as well as to reduce regulatory application time and continuous maintenance, as well as reduce operational issues that may occur along the course of business. One of the key things that makes us unique and different is combining our years of experience, both from technology as well, leveraging upon Baker Tilly International's network, as well as professional standing in audit. We work together to provide a seamless offering to you to be future ready and future proof. We believe strongly for those that look at how we're able to implement things differently in crisis. And that's where we're able to leverage upon opportunities to make a difference in the upcoming future. So let me introduce a little bit on some of other accreditations as well as ecosystem network. From Baker Tilly and its member firms, they are members of forum of firms, in addition to some of the additional logos that you see over there. And from vision perspective, we have extensive ecosystem network, both from a local, regional, as well as global standing. And more importantly, we believe strongly in continuing working with our ecosystem partners, such as yourself and some of you on the call itself, where we can work to collect together closely with you in order for us to work together to have a better future readiness solution and offering for our clients ahead, both in the areas of digital transformation and the areas of the cryptocurrency digital assets economy. Vision is also part of the Singapore blockchain landscape for year 2020. And these are some of the key team members looking very much how are we able to work closely together with you to make a key difference in the digital transformation as well as the digital asset economy space. Our goal today is how are we able to implement future solutions and technology to make a difference together with you. And we hope to embark upon this journey together with you now or tomorrow. With that, I thank you very much. I hope to see you very closely in the near future. Thank you. Thank you, Kuo uh, Now we have a few pictures from the signing ceremony, which took place a few moments back. We have uh, Joshua and Huawei. A few giggles there because of the face mask and complying with the social distancing norms requirements in Singapore. We have uh, Philip Wong as well and Vincent. Uh, as well as Susan and uh, Wun Hong from a Singapore team. That's uh, Piccadilly International uh, with Joshua and uh, Hua Zhe. Then we have Hua Zhe and Joshua uh, opening a bottle of champagne to celebrate the partnership. This is the entire leadership team of Baker Tilly Singapore, uh, represented uh, also it's Baker Tilly International by myself, as well as Vision Group. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm gonna now hand over to Joshua.
Okay, thank you everybody. Um, certainly very excited, uh, you know, in this partnership with Vision Group and uh, Baker Tilly Vision. Um, which uh, you know, asked a question just now, right? What does the future hold for us? You know, I believe this is a question that many business owners, many of us ask you know, ourselves now, particularly in this period of uncertainty. But I think it's important that we look beyond this period of six, nine, even potentially even 12 months of uncertain period. And we need to be ready, right? I mean, we need to be prepared as to how this technological advancement and the changes that it will bring about. And for business owner, I think it's important to embrace the change and more importantly, to tap on opportunity that technology advancement can bring about. For us, Baker Tilly has a professional service firm provider. It means important that we look at how we do our work, how we execute our services. And it's important that the solution that we provide to our client remains relevant. And it's more important that we help our client to future-proof their operations and to and embrace the opportunity that technology advancement brings about. So I think this is what um, we, together with Baker Tilly Vision, we hope to achieve. Right? Hopefully, in the in the in the months to come, we are able to help our client, you know, transform um, as they move towards the digital economy. And this is, as I mentioned earlier, I think this is uh, inevitable. This change is inevitable. It's irreversible. And, and we, we, we want to be prepared to be able to, to, to thrive in that economy. All right. Thank you. Yeah. OK. Thank you, Joshua. Um, I'm a firm believer that Embracing technology is the only way to ensure growth in the post-COVID era. I would like to thank Joshua Ong from Baker Delhi Singapore, as well as Hua Zhe and Philip Wong from Vision Group for their leadership, as well as their vision to transform the accounting profession. On that note, I'd like to thank everyone uh, who took our time to join us today for this webinar. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to email us. Stay safe and have a great evening. Thank you again for joining us. Take care.